Okay, so we're going to be working on a series of text effects that you guys are going to be editing. Uh, the first three I am going to give you tutorials on, and then the rest you guys will kind of have the ability to customize them in a way of your choosing. So for the very first one, we are going to be uh, making sure that we are under the character tab. Make sure that you go to new composition and you title your composition uh, example out of you one and so I already have examples right here example out of you one two three and so on and so forth so for the very first one <clears throat> we're going to start off by new solid pretty straightforward pretty simple um, colors backgrounds all that stuff doesn't matter uh, but just choose a background and then colors that correspond correctly, I guess. So, like, don't choose a black background and uh, a black text because obviously you can't see that. But this one I just went with a nice gray. Then I'm going to type out the word I won't. Make sure that when you type out the word I won't, you choose something that is readable, understandable. And we're going to make it. You know a nice decent size right here in the center um, again kind of up to you but you'll see how it has to look like at the very end one thing to keep in mind is going to be your anchor point uh, for when you're resizing in case if it looks kind of weird and it doesn't work out for you guys you can select the pan behind tool which is also your anchor point tool and that will allow you to move your anchor point because sometimes the anchor point is like here in the corner for example and then when you're trying to resize, it like does this weird things like that. Um, so one way to get rid of that little feature is to just move the anchor point somewhere in the center. I like to have it right here. And then when I resize, it resizes from that section. And that way I can hold shift and uh, it'll resize the way I need it to. All right. So first off, right, you're going to type I won't. Make sure you choose a specific color. We're going to have two colors in this specific uh, composition. Then you're going to put waste time. So I won't waste time. Make sure that waste time is a completely different color as um, I won't. Then you're going to put I won't again. So a quick way of doing that in case you don't already know is just to select one of the I don't or I won't and then put control D that'll make a copy and you will then have a copy of that I will go ahead and delete that because I don't need it then you're going to put ask to go to the restroom so you'll go ahead and type that make sure that you have one two one two in terms of colors the font will be the same for this one so your font won't change however you will have different colors and then the last one is to go ahead and make a circle around the whole entire thing. Your circle, make sure that you put that you want no fill. So if you have anything that looks like this, just make sure you put under fill. Again, you press on the words fill and just make sure that you put none. And then you press on the words stroke and you're going to select a solid color. Make sure opacity is set to 100.25. And then make sure it's set to white. That'll give you something that looks like that. So you've gotten that out of the way. So now we can actually go ahead and start editing this. So I'm going to go ahead and press the eyeballs just to hide everything. And I'm just going to work with I won't for now. Um, we're going to try to end all of this within the 10 second mark. So we're going to put I won't. And we're going to put... Uh, scale so s and then shift p for precision and we're going to go ahead and click right there and then head over to around 150 and then just add these keyframes so by putting this here we now have a beginning and an end but they're both all stuck at the exact same number so it doesn't really matter nothing should happen nothing should move however once we go back to zero at zero time we can now change it to change the actual numbers or settings of these two keyframes so we're going to go ahead and put the scale at zero 
and uh, I don't really think I need to move the position however in my case since I have my scale right there if I needed to I could um, change the position I don't need to so I'll go ahead and leave it like that that looks pretty good um, however that looks like it runs pretty slow so I'm gonna go ahead and head over to uh, 50 right around uh, so I want this at 0 and this at 50 120 I guess let's see let's go back in time to one second right there all right perfect yep one second and we're gonna move these guys right there perfect that's a little bit better so I won't and then right as this pops up I won't we're gonna put waste time but for waste time I want it to kind of appear right at this section so we're going to go ahead and select a mask uh, that's creating a shape so control Z make sure you select I won't waste time right here and we're gonna make a mask perfect just like that I'm trying to think well that works I guess we're gonna select our mask we can select mask path select our movement tool and we're going to move this guy right here and then from one we're going to go to 140 and we're going to move this guy in this direction so now we have I won't waste time perfect it's revealing everything little by little right um, so that's pretty good then we're going to go ahead and press U so we can see what we're doing so right around here we're going to now reveal I won't so for I won't we're gonna go ahead and do T for opacity and we would just put that at zero right there and go to 240 and then just put this at 100 boom so now we have I won't waste time I won't and then right here uh, around three seconds we will put ask to go to the restroom and we will open up and do let's do position and opacity right here so those two and we will head over to the five second mark or let's do 350 right there which will put us at 420 and we will again click on the add keyframes we can use the arrow keys to move to the exact keyframe that we need to be at and so for precision we are actually going to move them this way and for opacity we're going to put zero and we're going to move the opacity one right here a little bit closer so that as it's moving this way you don't see anything until it comes into this mode right here so it should look something like this I won't waste time I won't ask to go to the restroom bam awesome so now we're gonna head over to the five second mark and this is the part that's a little bit new uh, it's going to be the shape so we're gonna go ahead and select the shape open up the shape and you're going to see right here some where it says ellipse which is the ellipse that we currently have and open that up and we're going to go to add under add you're going to see something that says trim paths we're going to go ahead and select that and then trim paths will open up right here under trim paths you're going to see a start and an end so if you just kind of move this around you notice that start goes in one direction and goes in the other direction and all we're going to do essentially is we're going to put this guy at 100 and then go ahead and click start and we're going to go to uh, 530 or six 
and we are going to bring this over like that. And we are going to do this. I won't waste time. I won't ask to go to the restroom. Boom, right there. So then at seven seconds, we'll put it right there and just bring in our guy right there. Perfect, right click, trim to comp. And we have our first animation. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. From there, you guys can go to composition, add to media encoder. We're gonna wait for that to pop open. While that's popping open, we can head over to our next one. And we're gonna work with this one as well. All right, so as that one is opening up, remember it is important that you guys actually know the title of your um, file and you also have to know where you're saving it. So for example, if I head over to Media Encoder, you can then click on these blue letters right here and you can see that, hey, I'm saving this under document, all the help I can get and it is called example out of view. This part is important. Make sure you change the title to what it needs to be titled. Example, you wouldn't want it to be titled the same thing somebody else titled it while you don't yourself know how to title it and change it because then you leave the title the exact same as somebody else when you shouldn't have had that title to begin with. Uh, so let's go ahead and just put example out of you and maybe put your name right after it right in your case uh, Or in my case, I guess I could put mr. Gonzalez don't like that. I'm saying this too bad Maybe you should have thought about that sooner uh, Mr. Gonzalez save it and then just press play again Make sure that you know where you're saving it I'm saving it into my documents and then the all like all the help I can get folder which I already have created. Make sure that you're putting it into a folder that you created so that you know where you saved it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and press cancel and I'm gonna minimize this because we're still gonna use it. I will learn this software. So for this one, we're gonna do something a little bit different. Uh, we are going to actually um, create a background again. So again, new composition, create your composition, title your composition, example out of view number two. And then I will create the first one, which is I will. Again, I did like a, a font that just looks very readable. Uh, and then in this one, we're going to actually go with two different fonts. I will learn this and then learn this can be whatever font you want. And you can adjust it in whatever way that you want. As long as you have something that is very understandable, kind of resembles this, but you can choose your fonts, choose it however you want. Uh, learn this software. Now, why did I put software slightly far away from this? Because we are going to add a shape kind of similar to what we did here. The only exam uh, difference is that we are creating a rectangle instead. And your rectangle has a stroke of a five pixel radius. And again, stroke is a fill solid color and your fill is none. So make sure that you put that and you add that right there. And then we are going to create another uh, solid layer. So new solid, uh, just create it. The color doesn't matter for this one, but just as long as you have a solid at the very top, I'm gonna explain to you guys what we're doing with that in just a second. Uh, but we are going to go ahead and animate this one at a time. So I will, we're gonna go ahead and open this up, go to text and go to uh, transform. And let's just go ahead and put scale. We'll go ahead and put zero and we will move over to like the 25 second mark and we'll put this at 100. Boom, that pops open. So that is animated. Learn this. So we will go ahead and put learn this and we are going to open up. Um, well, I'll just put position and shift T for opacity. Again, we're going to click on both of those. Head over to 25, let's put a uh, 110. And then from here, we are going to go ahead and move our position. So let's go ahead and go here. 
and move this over actually hold on so 110 and then just add these guys there we go so now i can go back and move this in this direction and then put this at zero so when i actually play this it looks like that perfect all right cool so now that we have that we are now going to animate software and for software i'm actually just going to add a text effect from here so from effect we're going to go over to text effects animate text effect animate in and we're just going to do something like buzz pop words what is that okay so that one doesn't seem to look that good uh, we will go back control z uh, let's put a smooth fade in right so into software it goes and all right that looks pretty cool so again i will learn this software interesting right that we did this choice of uh saying all right cool so i'm gonna press u and u and u this allows me to see all the keyframes so i see where the software animation is ending and right around there you guessed it we're gonna work with shape layer and we're gonna do the same thing as we did with the other one so we're gonna go ahead and go to add and then trim paths trim paths will show up right here and we will animate the end and we will move a little bit forward and just kind of animate it in this direction actually this is in reverse so the the software thing is going away so what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring this to this side and this to this side and you just kind of rearrange it so we can reverse it so now it goes like that and the line pops up all right cool awesome there we go so for this one we're going to be doing something a little bit different we are going to be adding some music so i'm gonna head over here and uh, just kind of search up um actually let's go into um, epidemic sound and i'm just gonna download a song from here and i'll probably just provide this song for you guys so you guys can use this i'm gonna go ahead and download this and download download the full mix there we go that's cool we have the song right here uh, from here we are going to drag the song over into this side so we'll bring the song and bam put the song right there so we have the song right there perfect so remember i told you guys to create a new solid and this solid is going to go at the very top um well, I'm going to delete this solid because I already have the effect on it. But go ahead and press delete. So we have everything animated. So new, new solid. And this is the very essence, the, the basic way of doing this. But new solid, we have the solid right here. Under our effects and presets, we're going to search for audio. Now, on audio, you're going to find audio spectrum. I'm going to drag the audio spectrum in here that's going to give me this line right here that you guys see and as this becomes a thing we are going to drag the audio spectrum up to that point and we're going to select the audio spectrum and you can see these dots we're going to move these dots to start right at the corner of this line Something like that. And then for the inside and the outside color, you guys can go crazy with this. Do whatever you want. I'm just going to switch this over to white. Under the audio spectrum, you can actually choose what the audio layer is. But we don't have one yet. So we are going to move the song down here. We're going to make the song start in the same exact spot as well. Go back to the orange solid and then go to effect controls. We're going to choose the song. As, and now you guys can see that this is starting to kind of move and then right here under frequency and frequency bands and all this this will actually change the way your frequency looks like so you guys can kind of mess around with it and do as you like with it your path uh, you don't have one
but you can kind of mess around with this see what what it can create you can mess around with the colors if you'd like right here under side options you get to choose if you want it on side a or side b or if you want it on both sides i'm going to go with side b so it's only playing downwards uh, there is also a place right here digital if you want it in digital or if you want it in lines or if you want it in dots i'm going to go with digital and if i play this which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to zero. This is what it kind of sounds like. I will learn this software the line pops up and then the music starts. So we're gonna go ahead and end this right at 15 seconds. Boom, bring that in here, right click, trim to comp and then composition, add to media encoder and in there you should end up with another one right here and you guessed it make sure that you save it in the correct spot make sure that you name it what it's supposed to be so this one currently says example out of you out of your should be an out of you two and then your name right you don't want to leave it with somebody else's name uh, accidentally and then turn it in right that might show your teacher that you didn't even bother to do your own work uh, so save your work and then you press play uh, i'm gonna stop mine because i already would you like to yes sir um so, oh, no. there you go stopped i don't need to export these at the moment um but that'll be that one right and it ends at 15 seconds then we have the last one and for this one we're just going to end up doing essentially animate uh the if right so we're gonna do this real quick i'm going to be uh text let's just put uh let's do t for opacity t zero boom boom put that at zero head over to 24 seconds and then put this at 100 bam and then you end up with something that looks like that Proof. perfect right here this is what we're going to be doing different for this one uh the word stand so we're actually going to be putting scale right but notice when you scale so if i put it right here at zero right or actually let's go to a one full second sorry um not one for second, 124 perfect right there we're gonna add this little guy right here because by the end we want it to look like this right but we also um, if I go back in time right here and put this at zero, you're going to notice that it's scaling like this and then it ends right there. Well, what I want to do is I want to go even a little bit forward to like 212, oops, 212, but I'm going to from there click this chain. So what this is doing is it's allowing both sides to scale together and I want to undo that so that I can then scale this side up and then go to like 224 and then scale it back down to like 200 ish and then I'm gonna move just a little bit and put it back at 219 boom so now it's going to do something like this perfect that's kind of cool and then all we're going to do is we're going to select all of these at the same time right click on them go to keyframe assistant and put easy ease that's all you got to do for now you don't have to worry about what easy ease is currently doing just know that we're going to use it and eventually you guys will learn what it's doing all right so that looks pretty cool and then the rest of it can just be kind of edited however you'd like you don't have to copy on mine but we will go with a position put this and just maybe uh, move a little bit forward add that go to the one beforehand and just move this completely out of the way we'll have it come in without opacity that'll come in like that perfect uh, we can even toggle switches 
add some motion blur to that guy and we've got ourselves a magic magical entrance right there from here we're gonna go ahead and open up this guy we're gonna press t for opacity i'll press zero right around there bring this forward and then put that at 100 and end this at around the seven second mark oops right there and then bam put that in there trim to comp work area right there perfect and then we can go ahead and go to composition uh add to media encoder and so those are the three examples that i'm going to be giving for you guys again make sure that you change the name on the very last one and that you put the location of where it's going to be saved so example out of view documents all i can all the help i can get and then just put mr gonzalez and in your case you put your name and you save it and you press play and then you're going to be turning them in one at a time each one of these is going to be a separate grade and i am going to give you about five or six more of these and you guys are going to do each and every single one of them and you're going to animate each and every single one of them slightly different than the next all while using at least one thing that you learned today that is very creative so in each one of these assignments that you're doing I want to see that you use trim paths in at least one of them. Uh, besides my examples, my examples will have it. But once you work on the next six that you have to create, um, they will each have either a trim pass, uh, an audio spectrum with some kind of music, or they will have um, animation properties, whether it be position or whether it be uh, something else where you have essentially uh, this unlinked right here so under scale you'll have that unlinked and you guys can then play around with it and see what you guys come up with good luck and have fun thank you guys for watching i'll see you next time peace